What's going on, Dragon Brawler? Scott Simon back again here for Players Guild. I am, of course, your Guildmaster, and today we're breaking down the timeline. We're going to talk about Dragon Ball Heroes and its connection to the Super Dragon Ball card game, or Dragon Ball Super card game. Don't know why I did it in that direction, but uh, this is like the fifth time recording this video, and I'm really excited to get into it. So first, I want to start with currently where we are in the timeline. Currently, we're at set UW6, which is Saiyan Showdown. BT15, and so that's currently where we are. We have Finn just being introduced and the Xena Shadow Dragons being finished off. So I roughly equate this to Universe Universe Mission 7. And now we'll quickly look through it and you can understand why. So we have Mechikaburu there doing Mechikaburu things. He's finally released from the Time Labyrinth after Supreme Kai sealed him away. And you have this uh, epic hero shot of Goku and the rest of the Time Patrol. Even Demogra and, uh, and Robelli were there. But then we have this shot and we're going to break this down. Because I think that's the most important thing here. Actually, Chamel's also there in, tech, in canon, but... What we see here are the demon god forms, like the powered up forms of Shroom, Salsa, Poutine, Gravy, Deborah, and of course, Toa. Look at that. Look at that. That is amazing. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we can see some more of these guys in the very near future, especially Shroom and Salsa, because all the way back when Shroom and Salsa came out, I was like, this isn't the end for them, guys. They've got way more potential, and you're going to see that as, as as and when. And so there we go. We get Goku powering up to Super Saiyan 4. Toa summons Finn here, which is super cool. So this is our intro to Finn. That is a terrifying time to freeze on, Scott. That is a spooky-ass face. But we can see Finn there, and it basically ends with... Mechikabura tearing down the time patrol with Finn and the demon gods in their path. Very exciting indeed. So I am going to go over now to what that... So that was the bullet, the mission, the trailer for Universe Mission 7, which is shown along with the Dragon Ball Heroes cards. So like, oh, come and, come and play this new uh, entry. So I'm going to show you the cards for Universe Mission 7 and... It's really awkward when you're actually looking at the card list for Dragon Ball. And so I'm using Card Attacku here. Generally has the best list that I can find relatively easily. Uh, you can see some of the baby stuff from set 11 there is also there. But what we're focused on here is the heroes part. The, the, the Dark Empire Saga itself. So we have our nice Time Patrol agents there. So you've got Goku, you've got Gohan, you've got Goten, and you've got Vegeta and Trunks. That's a wicked to me. Look at that. That that is our lineup. Um, so I'm hoping we could see some similar artwork. I'm I'm imagining we're gonna see Super Saiyan Trunks to be fair, because we know we're getting Super Saiyan God in UW7. You have Demogra and Robello there. Obviously, Robello was introduced as a secret rare, which I think is a huge, huge, like what a way to introduce a character to the West. And then obviously the Demon God forms. Look at that Toa. Bandai, where is this Toa? I want her so badly. And of course, the Deborah looks pretty good too. There aren't much more to show off here. There is the SS4 Vegeta tease, of course, but that's mainly Universal Creation Saga stuff as well. They kind of happened simultaneously at this point. Uh, they were releasing the rest of the Dark Empire story, but also doing their new thing. I do want to point out this Toa, the one of my favorite looking cards in Dragon Ball Heroes. I, I own, I think, three copies of this card now. But I just love the dark Shenron in the background, Toa, and the dark Dragon Balls. I think it's beautiful. So we're going to now move on to where I think we're going to be with Universe Mission 8 slash 9. And of course, the set next set of the Dragon Ball Super Card game, which would be BT-16 or Universe Unison Warriors Series 7. It's really hard when we have UM and UW. Very easy to mix up. So we're going to look at Universe Mission 8, which for us is probably going to get blended with universe mission 9 and i'll explain why when we get to it but let's look at the bullet for it as well first so over to universe mission 8 and we have poutine in her demon god form fighting beat we can ignore beat uh gravy fighting vegeta and ss4 goku looking amazing and this this is why i do not think 
we will be getting Universe Mission 8 as a true adapt- ad- adaptation into the Dragon Ball Super Card game. Dark Gogeta was very, very poorly received in the in Japan. And Japan seemed to not want to even mention him. He rarely comes up. Finn has come up a few times after the fact. But kind of, Dark Gogeta is kind of just not acknowledged. Um, so he's kind of in this place where he technically existed and happened. But the Japanese market really hated him, didn't like him. So I don't think, with this being a Japanese card game that comes to English, we will see Dark Gogeta. Sadly, as much as I love the design, I think it's really creepy. I mean, look at the face. It's just terrifying. But I maybe we'll see him one day. I, can, I, there's, there's like, I think 99% chance that we're probably not going to see him just because of the backlash in Japan. But... Always have that hope, right? You never know. If we if we ask for him enough, yeah, so leave some comments below saying if you would want to see this form of Finn, um, then if you would, like, we might get it, right? An anniversary box card, maybe. Uh, who knows? But yeah, so this Dark Gogeta is wild, unruly. He absorbs the uh, SS4 Goku, uh, go, sorry, SS4 Gogeta that was fighting Omega Shenron in GT. That's why they're in that sort of timeline. And everyone's basically like, oh, this guy is nuts. Uh, he is crazy. Oh my god. And just wrecks house. It's amazing. But then Super Saiyan 4 Gohan, which we do have thanks to the anniversary box. So maybe we're going to see some more SS4 uh, splashed in. Maybe some black multicolor cards. Maybe tying that into the factor there. Maybe that's what's going to happen for our set. But you're like, Scott, that doesn't make sense. So we, we, we got Finn in this set and we didn't get Dark Goji. Okay, yeah. But we've got Super Saiyan God trunks and uh, and we don't have super saiyan god trunks in universe mission 8 so I'll, I'll quickly go into universe mission 8 for you guys which we're in now and look at the card list and we'll find the relevant information here we are look some more su- some more time patrol stuff some nice badass imagery i actually really like that image of trunks uh the the toa with uh, mira and deborah in the background is chef's kiss beautiful uh, Poutine, Demon God, and look, there's the Finn that we have as the SR. Hopefully, I'll be able to pull that. Uh, we've got the Demon God Gravy. Gravy just looks so good. There's there's something about weapon users in Dragon Ball that I think is really underappreciated. I mean, I know for a fact I love weapon users. Trunks uh, and Gravy are two that come to mind because that hammer is amazing. Absolutely love it. And the purple, uh, and then purple staff that, uh, the, 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 all the power pull, I think it's called as well, that Goku uses. There's the, there's the Dark Gogeta. So if we ever did get a Secret Rare or Super Rare, there is perfect artwork to just lift and use. Bandai, please look at the comments. Hopefully people have said they wanted Dark Gogeta and then you can make it happen. But relatively short as an actual entry into the whole narrative. Uh, mainly the SS4 stuff, which is nice. Um, but we've already got a bunch of SS4 cards. You can also see that. I really hope we can get this secret rare. I don't think it'll happen, but I really hope we do. S- SS4 Vegeta, SS4 Gogeta. How epic is that? Like, that is an iconic moment right there. Only doable in Heroes, right? I know Heroes gets a lot of flack, but honestly, if you if you really do enjoy characters and fan service, Heroes is where it's at. It has its own lore, it has its own con- con- continuity, and I really think you should give it a chance. It, it might not be for you, but give it a chance rather than just writing it off. I honestly do think you'd get a lot more out of it. Um, so we're going to go to Universe Mission 9 now. Uh, so we looked at Universe Mission 8, and that's why I'm basically like, I don't think that's going to be what's in our next set. We know we're getting Super Saiyan God Trunks. So that doesn't really relevant. Dark Gogeta is just kind of being skipped. And that kind of confirms something I've been saying for a while. Uh, and let's move on to Universe Mission now. And this is where, this is, this is where things get piping hot. This is why I think we're in the end game of the Unison Warriors series. I think we've probably got one or two more sets after UW7. Maybe they'll push it to UW10 and have a nice like round off thing. But I think I think we're in the end game now. And so we open up at the tree, which is actually the base of Mechikabura. Um, and essentially, they've got to go through a challenge and challenges to get there. But then you see salsa and stuff appear. And there's my sister with some food. Uh, Panzina appears. Obviously, we've got the Panzina secret rare in the last set. Shroom, powered up form, stopped by SS4 Gogeta. K.O. Ken. 
So I think this is a strong contender of something we will actually see in the set. Um, we've got Fort in the Dark Empire, uh, SS4 Gogeta already. And they built that off the Gogeta leader that we got in set 12. So I think we're going to get the evolution on top of that. It could be a secret rare. I think this could easily be a secret rare candidate. You look at what we've got, right? Imagine Evolve on top of an SS4 Gogeta. All the activate main, do the warp, poopity poopity poop. But yeah, he protects Pan. It's really nice. It's a really heartwarming swing. Shroom is a dick. Uh, and that's putting it lightly. In the manga, it gets really dark. He basically kills everyone. Um, and it, it's, it's really dark. It's really dark. Uh, but yeah, I love Kaioken Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I think it's an absolutely amazing design. Uh, very underappreciated. Uh, and very underused as well. Like, they don't really come back to it, which is sad. And so these are the cards from UM9. You got the Gohan, obviously, Panzer's daughter. Uh, in the manga, that, that plays into it more. Um, because they all have to separate and go on their own trials. Uh, but yeah, look, Panzina, she's in Dokken with that artwork at the moment. I'm imagining we're going to see it in the set. Maybe a skillless pan, that'd be kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, that's that's relatively it. We've got the, uh, the powered up forms of uh, Shroom and Salsa there. Evil Kai, I don't know if we're going to see it. I really, really, fingers crossed, I hope we do. Um, but I, at this point, I'm not sure if we'll see it. It might be too complicated to introduce. Uh, then we have the, uh, the campaign rares for heroes. Look at that. They've got the time key there. Or the keyblade, as I call it. Um, and uh, it's just fantastic. All of the side of good. Yes, Demogrit and Rebellu are on the side of good for this purpose. I'm still waiting for Demogrit to turn. Like, Demogrit's got to go back to evil. He's been basically good <laughs> ever since his first arc. So, it, it's kind of weird. Um, so, we'll move on to Universe Mission 10. And this, everybody. This is where we're going to be at with the next set so hold on to your horses universe mission 10 here we go goku and trunks running into some light oh i've missed something did i miss universe mission 9 uh... no we did the universe mission 9. sorry universe mission 10 yeah so here we are, going in there, uh, Evil Kai, Evil Kai versus Trunks, epic battle, uh, Dark Broly versus SS4 Goku, that's a rematch you want to see, um, note that this Dark Broly hasn't got the mask on, that's really important, and so that's kind of a little showdown that happens in Universe Mission 10, again, I don't think it's super relevant, since we've now got Super Saiyan God, you see what I mean, they're skipping some things, and it's it's not impossible that they'll go back to it, but this is a huge chunk of heroes they're just skipping past, and I don't hate that, because it's going to get to the things that I know people will want and play, but I I was rooting for Evil Kai being a, in this, um, may, maybe she still will be, not ruled it out, but uh, UM10, and there's a nice banner artwork. You got SS4, you got Pan, and you got uh, Evil Kai. Uh, but we do have some interesting cards in this one. Um, not just for heroes, but uh, like the hero story. But look at that Beerus. Um, so yeah, the, the Goku uh, Vegeta into the Gogeta. Uh, you got Goku, Gohan, Goten doing the fusion dance with Trunks, which I think is amazing. This SS3 Trunks, I hope we see. Sword in the ground. Like, in a battle pose, SS3 Vegeta Xeno doing an attack. So cool. Such a cool card. There's this Dark Broly. And here is where we get Mira Absorbed Finn. So, maybe, maybe that's when this is going to happen. Obviously, it's kind of like a callback. If you remember, it was uh, SS4 Goku versus Dark Broly versus Super Mira. So, it's kind of like Super Mira Finn versus Dark Broly versus... SS4 Goku again. Um, and it's a really cool clash. We get some awesome look at Bardock. He doesn't actually appear in the actual anime side of things. But it's nice to see him there. Evil. Look at Evil Kai. If if we don't get her at least at some point. It'll be a real shame. Even more King Vegeta Xeno. Bad, badassery. And I think that's it. There was, might have been one more that I wanted to show off. That Yeah. 
there we go. Look at these. Look at these two. The SS4 Vegeta and SS4 Gogeta. I think we'll definitely see those cards on artwork in the future. I I, I would be very uh, perplexed if we didn't get them as artworks, or at least based off of it. Also, give me more buyer Broly, please, Bandai. Uh, so that was Universe Mission Eleven. Sorry, ten, and we're gonna go to eleven now, which is where we get God Trunks. So Universe Mission Ten ends with them getting Kai back onto the team and ending up at the Time Nest. So at this point, Finn's re reached his ultimate form, which is like his Shogun mode, which is what I refer to it as, and you'll see it here. There it is. Look at it. I think it looks badass. Um, and at this point, only God Trunks can stop him. And here we have the illustrious Super Saiyan God Trunks, probably the best looking God form uh, out there, in my opinion. I love how his hair is just down, but the orange really pops. And so, yeah, they go to Toe to Toe. Uh, Trunks eventually does beat Finn at this point. But that, that, that's not all. That's far from it. This is this is like the major end game type thing. And obviously, if we're getting God Trunks here, you've got to look at what the uh, villain is. And God Trunks goes up against Finn here. But we already have a Finn leader from the last set. And what we've seen with like Xeno Shadow Dragons, for example, and the, uh, the Gogeta, we've seen does leaders not get new leaders in the past we would have definitely gotten like oh here, here's the this form of the leader but i think they're just going to continue it on as support and i i really hope that's the case we know we've got 11 leaders for the next set which is crazy crazy to think about and yeah so that's how that ends off and let's quickly look at the card list just one last time for universe mission 11 i don't actually remember what's on this one uh, there's, it's funny because you see some Tails stuff there. And obviously we got Tails in the last set as well. And oh, okay. It is Super Saiyan Gogeta. Yeah, okay. So this leads into Super Saiyan Gogeta on that point. It's really fun looking at the Heroes cards. So if you don't know, like in the bottom they have boosters. So what they work with. Each card is a different type. I will probably do a Heroes breakdown at some point of like how to play it. Uh, I'd rather do it when I'm out in Japan, to be honest. Um, which is going to happen next year. Fingers crossed. Look at that Tower artwork. I don't know if we can get it. If we can get it, I would love that. Um, if not, I already have a few of those on order. Guys, again, if you do want to order from Card Attacker, we're not sponsored, but they're fairly cheap cards. You can see here, 73p and stuff like that. If you want a bit of history and heroes, by all means, go ahead and get it. We've got some more Mechikabura. Not Time Power Unleashed form there yet. That's important. But we do have Shogun, Ultimate Finn, whatever you want to call him. He looks amazing. I definitely think we're going to see that. I've also shown off my heroes um, fins that I have as well, the promo ones. Um, so I think I think we're definitely in line for that. I really want to see these guys, but I don't think we ever will. And of course, look at this God Trunks. If that's not a secret rare victory strike God Trunks, I don't know what is. Actually, I do know what is because he doesn't have the uh, the, the the key sword, the time sealing sword. Um, but it is a badass card. That has to be an SPR. Of something right we know we've got god trunks there has to be <laughs> it, it has to be right um, and i'll just show you the champion promos as well uh, campaign promos but look at it oh we need it we need it that, it's gotta happen it's gotta happen and so if we're not against finn which we might i we might have evil kai and finn kind of rolled into one because you've got to think right i think we're currently at universe mission seven and we know we're getting adaptations from universe mission 11 so that's three missions really worth of content that they're going to probably either skip or incorporate which is why i don't think this is going to end in the next set i think we need a like this set to wrap up that battle then to do mechikabura so and obviously ss4 vegeta and stuff like that which we're going to get going to get into right now uh, so universe mission 11 and uh, the final mission for the universe mission saga dark empire is universe mission 12 so we'll just get the card list ready and then we'll bang over to that and okay so we're in the final room this is time power unleashed mechikabura margin versions of shroom and salsa if you don't know who those guys are i really like the cape on salsa um but shroom man i just love shroom you've got Gogeta, SS4 Vegito at this point. So we could see an SS4 Vegito secret rare. That's also highly likely. SS4 Gohan, 
You've got Gohan there looking, uh, sorry, Go Ten looking badass. Panzina, always my favorite. I'm so happy she's in the game. And then the demon gods arrive. Beats like, oh no! And then Goku, Vegeta's just like, nah, don't worry about it. They're on our side. So we have the key sword, which is what seals Mechikabura away, Mechikabura away in the end. So this is why I think we're going to get a God Trunks with Victor Strike and that key sword. That's just speculation. But off they go. SS4 Vegeta powering up. And boom. Just, just beautiful. Look at that shot. I've used it in a thumbnail before. It's perfect. So hopefully we can see something like this. But I don't think we're going to see it next set. So we're looking at like maybe two sets time, right? You got Unison Warrior Series 7 and Series 8, which I think is going to inco incorporate basically Universe's mission from 7 to 10. And then set Universe mission 12 is just going to be UW8. That's what I think is going to happen in my heart of heart. I can't see it going further past that. I mean, it can because there's a lot of other stuff they can do. But we are skipping quite a bit of content or at least... We're going to be adapting things that can be brushed over quickly. Unless we really get fleshed out forms and stuff like that. Which, it'd be the dream for me, honestly, as someone who plays all of these decks. Because I love the characters. Uh, I really hope we will see see some sort of conclusion in or end game down the line. And there we go, by the way. There, that's what I think will be Victor Strike uh, Trunks with the key sword. Looking, looking amazing. Uh, we'll quickly look over the cards and I re I, I just want these champ uh, campaign rares they're so amazing you've got the dark empire side of things you've got the the, the, the time patrol they're just amazing dark power the time power unleashed Mitch Gabura which needs to he needs to be either a leader or like a badass support set card and and then margin shroom margin salsa can't really have those without the powered up versions of margin shroom and salsa Veg SS4 Vegito and Trunks on a card together Hopefully that can happen. That'd be amazing because obviously in the manga they team up to do actually beat him because Vegeta is the one who kind of distracts Mechikabura while they power up the key sword and go go nuts really. But I think I'd look at that artwork as well. This I I think they're setting up for a fight with Finn in the next set. I don't think it's going to be Mechikabura yet. I think Mechikabura is the set after. I I just don't see how we can fit it all into this one last set. But, that being said, we are definitely in the end game of the Dark Empire Saga. So, get ready for some Prison Planet content coming in the near future. But, I, I mean, it's going to be great to look back on this in retrospect and see where we end up. Because I'm really happy with all, all the information that I've put out in this video. I think you guys will be too. Um... Let me know your favorite cards you've seen. Do you want any of these cards? Uh, I, I know I want basically all of them. Um, and yeah, I look forward to seeing what Bandai can do. And let me know, guys. What do you think? When do you, do you think the Dark Empire Saga is going to end? Do you think it will end with the Unison Warrior series? Or, you know, like there's lots of potential things to go into. Um, but without making this video half an hour long... I'm going to end it there. Guys, I'm Scott Sedman, your guildmaster for Players Guild. Hit that subscribe button for more Heroes content, more Dragon Ball Super Kong card game content, and of course, all of the new generation TCGs that are starting on Kickstarter or other means. We are going to be covering them and supporting them. So yeah, lots to look forward to, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.